Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm here again with my Shiba Inu, which is right here, if you guys can see his ears. But we're going to be unboxing the Bark Box for the month of April, and so let's get started. So while I'm opening this box, I just wanted to explain that my hair is a little bit crazy because I have work today, and then after work I had school, so it has been a really long day for me. I just came home from walking low-key, so it's like kind of hot and sweaty in here. So um, that's happening, which I just threw up my hair in a bun because, yeah, because I was not having it, so... Here it is. I really should not be slicing towards myself, but that's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, this is what the box looks like. Nothing special, always just looks like this, and it says Bark Box on it. And each month they have a theme. And so this month, I can already tell that their theme's kind of like a 90s theme. The first toy seen here is this little roller skate. And this is by Bark & Co. It says Need for Speed Skates. And he's not interested in that. Oh, uh, he pulled out this little fanny pack. This is so the 90s, like I remember having one of these fanny packs when I was a little child and I thought it was so cool because you know, everyone had one and I finally got my own. But this is what the fanny pack looks like. This is also by Bark & Co and it's called Fizz Fat Fanny Pack. And so I'm gonna probably take off the tags before he starts eating them. On the bottom there's always some treats and this time we got the, what is this called? We got the Chicky Twizzles and they're by Smart and Tasty. They're approximately nine inches long. And so I'm probably gonna take this open because I think he wants it. You know what I hate about these little things? That the wrapper's really hard to open. Like even for a human, they're kind of hard to open, so. They sm ooh, they kind of smell good. They smell better than his uh, other dog biscuit things. This one actually smells kind of good. Do you want this? Can you give me one second? You want this? Take this. And he's off. All right, so while he's busy eating his new treat, I'm going to be unboxing the rest of the items for him. And the next thing that I see in here is something by Nudie. The brand is N-O-O-T-I-E. These are called joysticks, and these are pork-flavored dog treats. I'm just gonna open one. He's literally too busy to like entertain me with his time. Ooh, these smells really good too. Oh, now you're back. These, excuse me. These are just really kind of like long rectangle pieces. I mean, it makes sense, it's your joysticks, so. I thought they would be a little bit longer to be called sticks. They're kind of stiff, but they smell really good. So I'm gonna see if he likes them. And he does. So I'm just gonna throw the rest of this over. I like these, these smells really good. And the packaging's really cute too. There's like a robot little dog on it. I think it's super cute. And I think the last thing that we have in here, oh no, we have little stickers. I like these. We have a little packet of stickers. I'm probably gonna use them. I make little like scrapbook things for my dog because I have to reminisce the time that I'm with him. So I always have like little pictures and shit with it. So I'm gonna use this in the little scrapbook. I think that would be super cute. And the last bag of treats that we have are from, what brand are these from? They're from Uptown Pup Scene. And these are the banana and cocoa, peanut butter, banana, and coconut um, treats. And they're soft and chewy. It looks like this. These probably smell really good because there's coconut in there. You are blocking my view, Mr. Honey. Oh, they look like little waffers. So they're like a triangle, not a triangle. They're like a circle little piece, but they look like little waffles or like wafer crackers. They don't smell as good as the other treats, but I think he, yep, he likes these. He likes anything that's like pretty much soft and chewy. Sometimes I give him things that are too hard and like crunchy. He won't eat it until I break it into tiny little pieces, which is just... I know, it's just his personality, but yeah, he really likes these. Alright, I'm just gonna sprinkle them all over the floor. Alright, there we go. And with every single bark... Whoa, what happens to the paper this time? It's like all broken, but usually I keep this little wrapper too because I think it's really cute. And um, I can use it for a scrapbook, but this time I think I'm gonna pass on it because I like the stickers a lot better. So what I'm gonna do right now is just... Um, I'm going to take off the tags of these little toys and I'm going to play around with him because I don't know if he's interested. Usually he's like all over the toys, but this time he's just like, bye. Ooh, the squeaker is definitely kind of weird. Oh, and you can pull on this little string thing too. You want this? Nope, not interested. Well, maybe he'll want the roller skates. Let me try to open these. Alrighty, that was it of this really quick unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!